Okay, let's get started and pack our cruise embarkation day bag. Yes, on the first day of your cruise, you're going to want to bring a bag that is packed with those first day essentials. Your luggage isn't going to arrive until several hours later delivered to your cabin. So you need all of those essentials for the first day. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, even though to be perfectly honest, I am not packing for a cruise right now. Hopefully that will be soon. But I did think that if I packed up my luggage, my carry-on bag, as if I was going on a cruise for the things that I would need for the first day, that that could be helpful information to share with you if you are getting ready for a cruise right now or in the near future. So I have all my first day essentials right there in the bag right behind me. But just something to mention, you could either bring a carry on piece of luggage, something like this one, you could bring a beach bag. So like you see behind me, and I will show that to you a little bit later, or you can bring a backpack. Those are all things that are okay. Even a small duffel bag, all of those things will be great for the first day of your cruise. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing and the most important thing to bring is your passports or your government ID, whatever you need to board your ship. You'll also want to have your cruise documents with you. And if you do need any vaccine information, any testing information, make sure to have that with you as well. If you do by chance put that into your checked luggage, that is actually a really big problem. If that goes onto the ship, you're not going to be able to find it before the cruise leaves and you will be denied boarding, unfortunately. Personally, I wouldn't even put it in my carry-on luggage. I actually always leave my passports in in my purse but otherwise you can put it in like a money belt or you can put it in a pouch of some sort or you can put it in a neck wallet all of those are really good places to put your passports and any important documents now something else to bring for the first day of your cruise is your credit card you're gonna actually need that most of the time to check in to the cruise ship itself at the terminal and you'll also want to have some small bills handy this is really good because when you do arrive at the cruise port you're gonna have the porters that are going to take your luggage and they're gonna actually kind of send that towards the cruise ship and it is customary to give them a few dollars when they do take your bags. Now for the fun stuff. If you do go on a Caribbean cruise or a Bahamas cruise or any warm weather cruise, you might really want to enjoy the day and get into some bathing suits. Enjoy the pool. So I bring like a packing cube and then I put my husband's bathing suit, my bathing suit, my cover up, all those sorts of things into a packing cube in my carry on bag. Now I used a little hack that was shared with me and what I did is for my flip-flops I actually used a disposable shower cap to cover them so that the dirt didn't get on the other items in the bag. Now if you've used that hack before if you know any other hacks please leave them in the comments below. I absolutely love it. I think I'm going to go to the dollar store and buy more shower caps for all of my shoes for the next cruise. Now something else that you'll want to bring on your cruise is any medication that you'll need for the first day of your cruise. Now I left my medication in this in like my toiletry bag and what I'll do is I'll bring things like my Tylenol, my Advil, um, maybe some throat lozenges, anything that I might need for the first day of the cruise. Now as well you'll want to bring things like any of your prescription medication. Of course that is the absolute most important thing. You don't want to leave that in your checked luggage. It will be several hours before you get it. And an extra little tip, if you do have prescription medication, make sure when you are going on a cruise, especially if you're traveling somewhere far away, make sure to bring at least a couple of weeks extra of medication, always when you travel, just in case. And along with medications, then I also would have my deodorant and, you know, toothbrushes and toothpaste, all those things that I would want, my husband would want to freshen up for the day. If you'd like to bring wine on your cruise, a lot of cruise lines will actually allow you to bring wine or champagne on your cruise ship. No hard alcohol that you can't bring but you can bring wine usually the rule is one bottle of wine per person per adult but do check with your cruise line to see what the rule is but if you do bring any wine don't put that in your checked luggage you definitely don't want that going onto the ship and maybe you know breaking all of your clothes so put it in your carry-on bag a little tip is make sure to put it sort of down at the bottom so the heavier part it is a little bit heavy that it does go towards the bottom maybe over something that's a little bit cushioned now, everything that you bring on your cruise that's valuable should actually go in your carry-on bag. You want to keep that with you. So that includes any jewelry. So if you have necklaces, if you have diamonds, pearls, anything you have, good watches, make sure that you do keep that on you either in your purse or your handbag 
or in your carry-on bag that stays close to you. Now, just something to mention is that all of the bags that I'm showing you in this video, for instance, this is a jewelry bag, I'll show you an electronics bag later. So everything that I am showing you, as well as any of like the cruise essentials, will be linked in the description below so that you can take a look for yourself as well. So make sure to pack your chargers for the first day as well. Now, one of my essentials always is going to be like my portable charger. This one actually charges two phones at the same time. So I really like this one. I bring this even on shore excursions, but definitely for the first day, Again, I wanna make sure that my camera is charged all the time. So I always have this with me. And this is my electronics bag also just got it, but it can keep your wires, it can keep your um, power bar. So always on a cruise, make sure that you do bring extra outlets, USBs. It has to be like a cruise approved non-surge uh, power bar. So you can't bring the kind from home. So something like this is perfect. And as well, like if you're cruising somewhere in Europe, maybe not on the cruise ship itself, but maybe even for in a hotel, you'll want to bring like a converter. And you might want to bring an extra charger as well if you are maybe in an airport on the way. These are just all things to keep in your electronics bag. Now, recently I started to get really into packing cubes. And what I realized is even for the embarkation day bag, if I use the packing cubes, I particularly like the ones with the mesh top so I can still see in, that by using a combination of packing cubes and Ziplocs, I can put a few things all in one and just keep everything a little bit more organized rather than having everything flop all over. Now, something else to bring for the first day of your cruise, and sometimes we don't think about it because it is the first day, but if you are spending time by the pool, that weather, that sun is hot, the sun does reflect on the water around the ship. So make sure to bring some sunscreen, some after sun if you need it, and as well, some lip balm. Now, like I mentioned before, some medication. So something else I didn't mention before was some Tums. So we like that. So obviously any of the medication that you might use on the first day of your cruise. Now you might wanna bring some disinfectant wipes. I think that now having a few in a Ziploc bag, maybe a couple packages for during your cruise is something handy. Gum and candies, I always have a few in my purse. Hand sanitizer, definitely something important. And if you like to do any hair freshening up, well, you might want to bring some hair products. A little tip to mention if you are going on your first cruise is that you actually don't need to bring any towels on your cruise. So if you're thinking you might need these for the first day of your cruise or even for shore excursions, they will be provided and you don't need to bring them at all. Now, don't forget to bring your sunglasses. It will be sunny, hopefully, on the cruise ship, maybe. Or if it's not so sunny, then you do want to bring an umbrella. We've actually been caught a couple of times coming out of the car with our luggage and it raining on us. So having an umbrella handy for not only the first day, but even for during your cruise, you just never know. Make sure to have one handy. Now, while not a necessity, you might want to bring your towel clips for the first day of your cruise. If you plan on hanging out by the pool, you can clip your towels right away. So use towel clips or towel bands for your cruise. Now, ladies, if you think you might want to freshen up your makeup before dinner or maybe in the late afternoon, bring a small makeup bag with at least those kind of things that you use all of the time. It will take several hours till you get your luggage delivered to your cabin. Usually it does arrive before dinner, at least like sometime maybe about two hours before dinner, but you just never know. And if you do want to have everything with you, I like to bring a little makeup bag with a bit of powder and some lip gloss. I bring some hair clips and some elastics as well in case I am. I'm going to the pool and I want to put my hair up. A lanyard. If you think that you want to be hands-free during your cruise, you can put your cruise card in the lanyard. You can wear it around your neck or throw it into your pocket, which is super handy. And you might as well start on the very first day of your cruise. And something else that I bring is we always bring a change of clothes for the first day of our cruise. Now, usually when I'm boarding the cruise ship, I'm actually not coming straight from the airport. I'm usually, if I've driven in even, we stay at a hotel the night before. So we're pretty fresh in the morning time when we do arrive at the cruise ship. But I do like to change in the late afternoon or I like to change before dinner. And I don't want to rely on waiting for my luggage to be able to have my outfit. This way, whatever I bring with me for the first day of the cruise to wear a little bit later on, I could hang it up right away, get those creases out and well, be ready exactly when I want to change my clothes. Now, as I picked up this bag, I realized that I absolutely forgot to talk about something that you'll want to bring on the first day of your cruise. And that is anything electronic that is valuable, any tech items. So whether it's your laptop, phones, of course, cameras, GoPros, anything like that, make sure that you do bring in in your carry-on bag. Do not put it in your checked luggage. Of course, nothing valuable should ever go in your checked luggage. So what we do is we bring actually this laptop um, backpack. It's very handy. It's just a little bit padded. It's secure here with like 
the, I just want to make sure I show you with a little combination lock over here. It's got these chargers at the side. So it's very convenient. You can charge your phone as well. So we actually have brought this on the last couple of cruises that we did um, as part of our carry-on bags. But you can also bring it on shore excursions, which is what we did when we brought our GoPro and that kind of thing. And my favorite bag for shore excursions that I also usually bring as a bit of a carry-on bag on the first day of the cruise because then I can throw in my extra sweater, anything like that. So I bring it because especially on shore excursions, it's so convenient because it can hold like three or four towels. It's so big, water bottles, everything that I need can go into this bag. So it can double as your carry-on bag and as well for your shore excursions. So that's super handy. Now, like I mentioned, everything that I talked about in this video will be linked in the description below, along with some other like popular cruise essentials, if you will. Now, I hope that you found this video helpful. I'm going to leave another video at the end of this one, all about more cruise packing tips that you will need for your future cruise. Now, if you have any tips to add, anything that I maybe didn't think about for a cruise embarkation date, please let me know in the comments below. I know it will be super helpful. And of course, if you like the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.